Star Wars Ray and Kylo Ren. And now we're gonna start on it now. So this is gonna be super exciting. Let's start building. Alright guys, so Kylo Ren. Just like we talked about last time, pretty standard. We're doing Kylo Ren. So let's open it up, move this out of the way a little bit, let's start building. Number two, package of two and two. Now, normally, if you buy it individually, we only have one package, so we're going to say two at once. It was just this package. Alright, all these fun little pieces. Now, normally, people split them up so you can go little pieces, big pieces, stuff like that. I tend to just mix it together because in the end, it's just kind of built. Start it off. Let's see if we can move this down here. All right, guys. So let's start it off. Ready? So now it's requiring us to grab one of these right here. I'm gonna grab this one. I'm gonna grab one of these. And you're gonna have both sides. Grab the green piece. Very interesting. It's green, but yeah. All right. Put it there. Just like that. The manual says. So it completed step one. All right. Now we'll continue building. So we we'll put one here. Grab the other piece right here. We have now completed step two. Step three. It's requiring us to now use. There we go. Here we go. All right, we'll go in the front right there, just like that. And now two square pieces. Gonna be two, 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 two square pieces. I know I saw you. There they are. Number one. Go right here like that. And number two should be pretty much in the same area. There it is. So number two. Just like that, so just like the image shows, pretty good. The next part of the image is basically telling us now to take one of these wonderful pieces and put it right this way, just like that. And it says to take, looks like a flat piece, so possibly this. Yep, put it right there. This is a little gizmo thing going on. See it. All right. One thing Lego does really well is they really show the directions really well. You know, like IKEA or any other instructions you get from any other country, it's pretty standard and piece by piece by piece. They show you and color coordinate the exact piece so there is no discrepancies or misunderstandings. Now, granted, you can still mix things up, but you know, for the most part, pretty uh, straightforward in my opinion. Um, so you have this here, and then you get to these two brown pieces right here. Done. Now it's requiring us to take this blue circular piece, put it right in the middle, just like that. And now it requires us to take this piece, which is probably his chest plate, put it right there. So that's his pants and his chest. I'm assuming that's what the pieces are. And then it requires one more wonderful piece right in the back, just like that. So just like the picture shows. All right. Now we're on to the next step, which is basically covering the top. So it's requiring a three-piece cover. So it's going to be a three-piece cover right here. One right here. And one right here, just like so. And then for the back, it's requiring the two pieces that have little like hanging things in the back of it. Always make sure you squeeze your Legos because um, you know you want to make sure it's firm and tight. It keeps the integrity of the entire thing when you build something, especially with Legos. So now we're on to the next step, which is basically asking for squares, and these are going to go on the sides. So one right here, and right here, just like so. Yeah, just like so. And then. 
sparse two flat pieces that go on the top. These flat pieces are pretty much flat pieces like this. And they are going to go on the top of the arm. Now it's requiring for us to have the arms. So here are the arms. So this one here. Or I should say arms slash hands. There we go. So if we've gotten most of this stuff built. Um, I don't think I'm missing anything. Seems pretty good. Seems pretty solid. Um, all right. So now we're going to change to the next page. And now it comes to the coloration. Which is still confusing to me why they would add color. Now granted this color probably addresses some things, but you don't, need, you don't see this color. So I'm curious why Lego even made a different color. Maybe because they wouldn't want to confuse the pieces, which makes sense. But it's kind of weird because it doesn't really affect any of the sex on the outside. It's pretty much on the inside. So pretty interesting to look back there. So we're gonna put this one here. Here. And maybe they did red and then gray was blue, so the pink maybe that was designed that way, but there's also a pink block right there, so excuse on that one. So we're gonna put this here, like so. This one here, like so. And then flip it on the other side, do the same exact thing. You wanna make sure they're pushed down pretty tight because you wanna make sure they hold on really well. So now we are done with that piece. So it looks like it's pretty sturdy. And now it's requiring us to get these nice grayish, well, more like a tan block. And you're gonna put one in here, press down in the middle, put another one in here, press down in the middle, you wanna make sure it's nice and firm. And you're gonna do the green block, which you do right here, just like this. And then that wonderful pink block. I don't know if this is like the heart and soul of it, or if they think this is like the brain. Maybe, I mean, that would make sense. I don't know what the red would symbolize, but the green possible. So we put the brain on according to me, not necessarily. Alright, now it requires more of these wonderful um, amazing blocks that we have here. Um, so we have one, two, and then we put two on this side just like the other side. One, two, just like that. Just like that. Alright. And now for the front, um, it wants us to only have the one. On this side, just like that, and on this side, just like that. All right, got that complete. Now for the faceplate. Always the faceplate is going to be this. Why? Just because I think Lego did it. So let's go to the face. Put this plate on, nice and tight. Let's flip the page. Let's see what we got going on next. All right, this is a little different now from the last one we did. Now it's requiring us to have the scars, which is right here. Um, and this scar goes right here, just like that. The next one is gonna be his eyes. Just like we had the last one. His eyes, nice and coming on. And then we have a little two piece here. I um, don't know what this part is. Maybe like a piece of skin or something, I don't know. And then the other piece is the scar. Be for his hair, so that would make sense. All right, so we're done with that. Now we get to put on the hair and the eyes. So the next page, basically, we need to put on the eyes. So make sure his eyes look exactly what they wanted. So mine shows just like that. And the other eyeball. There is a Lego tool that helps pull things off and stuff, but unfortunately, um, I did not have that. I used to when I was a child. Um, okay, so we have his eyes on. Now it's requiring to have his hair. Now that part, it's going for a little piece right here, a little hair piece going on. So you're gonna put that on here. You wanna make sure the side is facing just like that. And then a small square, which could be this one right here. All right, a little part going on right here. All right, next page. Next page, we got more of these fun little pieces. They're gonna go on the top, so right here. Give me a 
another one right here that's going to go in the back. And then one more, which right here, that will go on the side also. Alright, so after we're done with that, we require the three piece, which is right here. And this is going to go, it looks like this. Just like that. So it kind of goes over a little bit. So it kind of gives it a little bit of dimension, just like that. Okay, and then now we get two more pieces, which is going to be. I know they're three pieces, guys. It does show three pieces, so you really can't get mixed up on that. Right there. Now it's requiring us to get a square piece, put it on top of that, just like that, and then get the little diamonds we have here, put on either side. So one there. Side, do the exact same thing to create this little hair part thing that's going on there. It's a cool style, rebelish, so to speak. All right, so we're done with that. Now, back to the front of his head, we're going to add another part, which will be this one right here, and this is going to go on the front of his head. Two of those because you want to continuously make it look the same when I would you know, continuous with the head. Um, that is right here. That one right there. Right. Cool. It's an alien. That's okay. So now we're going to take it to the side and it tells me to do a square piece right here. And then we're going to do It's this one right here, just like that. Oh, nope, now we have mutton chops. That's not what he has. So we're actually going to have it. It's my little piece. Let me see if I can find it here. Hmm. Where, where can it be? Good, is it? That seems odd. Nope, there it is. Alright, so now we have this piece. Oh, that is correct. That is correct. Okay. And then you have a square piece, which right here. And this goes above his head, just like that. And then we're going to flip. So now we are still facing the same way. I think it wants us to do the same on both sides. No, just tell me real quick. So now we're back on the side still, and it wants me to use a two-piece, which is this one right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it right here, and then it wants one of these beautiful guys, and put it right there. Create some nice little look there. And then after that, I'm going to grab a bigger one. piece going on here. So now we take this piece, okay, and we have this piece here, just like so. Alright, and then you're going to add this piece to add on to it, just like so. Um, is it that piece? I don't think so. Actually, oh, I just dropped the piece. Let me real quick. Alright, so this is it. Oh, it's a three-piece, My mistake. It's going to be this one. Got a little three-piece going on here. Just nice and tight. There we go. Make sure it clicks 
in. Take that piece and wrap it right there. Just like that. Alright, now we're done with that piece. Got the hand, got the hair, got the two pieces here. Looks like we're good on that side. Now, you continue actually, so he has a lot of hair going on here. Um, we're going to get one of those uh, pieces that hang out like this one. And we're going to get this right here. And we're going to do just like this. And then we're going to get a little triangular piece right here. And we're going to put it right there. Make sure it's on tight. Alright, now go back to our coloring. And we are going to put it on just like Looks like we're gonna build the back of the head. So we're gonna put some Mr. Kylo color in down for a second, and we're gonna build the back of the head. So we we'll grabs one of these pieces, and it looks like we're gonna get two blank pieces. So one, two, on either side, just like that. Then we're gonna get two triangular pieces right here, and these can go, looks like facing them, just like that, and then the other one. other way. So that's interesting. Just like that. You guys can see it perfectly. And now it says to put it in the back. So it's going to go exactly in the back right here. Just like nice and tight. Make sure it's nice and tight. So, so far the figure is almost done. It's like it's going to work out the face or two face there. But or if you think the fifth element but anyway, let's go on. So now we're on the other side of the face. Same concept, telling us to get the little um, thing right here, just like so. And then we are going to get this piece right here. And then the little triangular thing, which is pretty much right there. So just like that. Just like that. See it? Now this goes on the side of his face. Looks like it's gonna go pretty much right here. And then it's requiring to do for us to use this right here. Just on the other side, just like so. And looks like I'm going to also create another piece. So it's gonna be this with this. So one piece and two pieces are nice and together. And then we're gonna talk about this piece right here. Alright, so we have one piece left, which is basically going to be 
this piece and a square piece. So this piece right here, on the side of his head facing out. And then this piece right here is going to go on the side of the head. Just like that. Perfectly on the side. Next page, here we go. This is completing his hair. This is a good sign that we're almost done. Um, so next piece with his hair, we want to grab a piece. I believe it's going to be this one and this square piece, which will be this one right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to put it on right here. So we want to put it actually right top, or actually sorry, bottom. Just like that. Okay. And now, obviously, there's a little piece right there that requires us to have that little square piece, or that triangular piece, I'm sorry. And that piece is going to go right there, facing the corner. Perfect. Now, the bottom of his feet, you want to make sure you put it right into his arms so they're kind of connected to his arms, right? So just like that. So it's a page. Now we're working on his feet. So we've got one foot here. over. So now we got to make the last part of his cape. As you can see, it's a cape. Um, so how we're going to do that is we're going to put him down for a second, and fall, and then we're going to grab the pieces. So um, there we go. We've got the flat piece. We need a three-piecer. Make sure it goes on tight. Nice and good. And then we're going to put this on there, just like that. Now this is going to go on one side, so it looks like it goes just like this. And then the other side, same thing. So we're going to get the three-piecer, which is this one. We are going to get the triangular piece. And we are going to get the flat piece, which is right there. Same thing, put it on the side of him, just like so. Now we are on the back of him. So this part we are going to use um, this right here. And one is going to go this way. And one is going to go this way. Just like that. Now what it wants us to do is use the flat ones like this. me to actually put it like this, which makes more sense than what I was doing. So, if that's correct, let's see how this would work. Unless it goes this way. Ah, just like that. That's where the green shows, but I guess that's part of the design. So the other one, that at the next step there is a coverage for it so that's a good sign so now the cover for it is going to be this flat piece right here and you're going to get two of these wonderful little hook pieces and then you're going to take this piece and you're going to put it right there nice cape take away that green 
pretty cool, right? All right. Now on to Kylo Ren. Once again, Leo gives us two wonderful little picture rails. Right? The holds the saber itself, with the plasma, I guess you can say. So you're gonna put it on the, the on the obviously uh, right hand side if you're facing. Right hand side. And you're gonna put his lightsaber. Which is pretty awesome. Look at that. Back to you. Now we're gonna build a stage. Something he's gonna rest on. Once again, it comes with a piece that says that it's series two. The block is pretty cool. Put that on here, just like that. You're gonna put the blank case or the blank piece right there. Then you're gonna put the thing that's gonna hold him in place, and then one more blank piece, which is right here, just like that. After we're done with that, we flip the page because I want to make sure. Oh, yeah, that's it. So take him. Kylo Ren. Pretty cool, guys. This is pretty awesome. Um, it took, what, 26, 26 minutes to build? Um, on average, probably someone could build a little bit quicker. Um, definitely, every time I do one, it becomes quicker and quicker. But as you can see, it's, it's Kylo Ren. Um, pretty cool. I think it's pretty awesome. Like These are things that are collectibles that people like to do and stuff like that. And honestly, it's, it's you calm and relaxed and really focuses your mind so good for kids that are wound up or just like a puzzle like it really gets you to focus and like really block out the rest of the world so as you can see my array over here um, so our actual dual set here both the greatest jedis or untamed jedis i should say um interested to see what episode nine's gonna bring for this but um yeah definitely you can have like in poses like they're gonna face each other um, or you know together but Friend, you can have them yourself, or you can give them to a friend, or give them both, or kind of give them as a gift, or build them together. If you're with someone, it's kind of cool, it's kind of like memorable, and it kind of gives you that idea of like, oh, you know, it's special between us. Um, once again, um, her down real quick, out of the box. It's pretty close to what life size is. Um, I mean, like I said, they like said it's like eh, pretty close to um, the but it's pretty cool. Like I think, um, honestly, these are pretty awesome things. It's not your traditional Legos or yellow heads and all that stuff, but um, I think overall it's uh, pretty awesome. I think that these are really cool little mini figures, so to speak. Kind of the keep compete with a little bit of the uh, Funko Pops, but these are, I think, are a little more memorable and special because you build them. Your Funko Pop, you build. And I think that's kind of cool. And I think Funko Pop did like a digital one that looked like a Lego. Um, but I really enjoy just having some of this because it's just, it's really interesting and it's, it's pretty cool. So once again guys, I'm building, obviously, more Legos. Just let me know which ones you want me to build. Um, the smaller sets were a lot easier and I'll probably do a lot more of those than in the bigger sets. Um, if you want me to build bigger sets, understand that obviously things cost and you can't buy everything you want to build. But I'm open to suggestions and ideas if you want to see they look like or how hard it is to build them anything like that and then obviously you can see there are extra pieces which is pretty cool they always does that you know we all tend to lose things and i think lego does a really good job of saying like hey if i get it we got some extras and it's also cool to have for extras for anything else you want to build or if you want to demolish and make this in completely different jedi or thing or anything like that so that's pretty cool guys this is my video i hope you enjoy and if anything just please subscribe and like my video have a good day guys thank you